All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sun Legend series. We're on episode number 47 today, and today we're going to be Sunless Lawn. Uh, thank you to Bryce for this recommendation. As you guys can tell, we've been doing Sunless names for the last while. This might actually be the second last episode of the series, which is insane to even say. But we got to make this photo now. Let's jump into Photoshop and see what we can do. All right, so I looked up Lawn. We've got a few photos here. I think this one's pretty good. I've got an idea of what I want to do, but I, I don't want to spoil it yet. All right, it's looking pretty good. Let's grab this and open up Photoshop. All right, so we got the lawn. So I'm thinking... What I need to do is grab a picture of Sunless and put him in the sky. So let's start with that. Oh, perfect. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's jump into maybe this one. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> What's going on? You know what? I might be able to actually just use his head from last episode. Here it is. <laughs> let's do that instead. So let's grab this. We'll uh, put him in the sky. <laughs> Dude, what am I doing? Yeah, now he's a bright sun. Let's do this. We'll put him in the sky. And then what I'll do is I, I want to create a shadow in the shape of Sunless's head. So that should kind of do the effect I want here. Let me like kind of bring it in. Um, <laughs> just, oh, no. I feel like that. Yeah. And then I, all I want to do is just bring this down. So it's like his head. <laughs> so his head is causing... A big cover-up of the sun. I don't know, man. This is... <laughs> this is cursed. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not very proud of this one. But <laughs> it is what it is. I created what I thought was a good idea for this one. So here we are. We're Sunless Lawn. And, and today we are actually 1814 Division 3. I mean, of Grand Champion 3. So we're getting super, super close. This probably won't be the episode where we make it. But we're gonna jump into queue real quick and see if we get some games. Also, I gotta remember my dead zone before we jump into the next game. So let me change that right before we jump in. Also, just a quick reminder, we got mittens on my team. Oh, let's go. Um, and we got over zero as well. Um, just a quick reminder as well that if you want to help the road to 1 million subscribers, we are uh, currently like about 10k out. Great shot. Nice placement. We're about 10k out around there from 1 million, which is incredible. So I appreciate all you guys supporting and helping out with the, uh, the climb and the race. <laughs> they, little did they know I was in their games. And this is going to have a touch. We're going to pass it across. Zero is ready for it, though. Oh, a bit of a miss, though. Should be a shot down the field. Great pass across. Ooh, close. If I'm going to chip it really hard, I'll skip behind my teammate. Ended up missing it. And I got to avoid the demo as well. I'm not really too threatened about this touch, if he goes. I'm just going to wait for him to make the touch. Same here. Pop it up. Make zero have to go. Pop it across. Good defense. They cleared on the field, but it's way too fast for them to be able to take a direct shot. So I'm just waiting for that in the back corner. Wait for the next touch as well. Good try. Make sure I pop off the wall really hard. That way it's hard for Zero to follow it without throwing the ball away. Try to go for a demo on him as well if he follows it through. Kind of expected that. It was going to be a direct shot. I tried to go back as soon as possible. I didn't think my team was going to throw the ball at the wall there. And uh, right here, I thought he was going to hold onto it. And then I realized the second he threw it away, I was already moving too far forward. See what Mittens does here. It's gonna be zero to throw the ball away. There it is. Good demo, but this should be Mittens' ball for free. Now I'm close by here. See if he flicks it to me. It's fine. Got the mid boost first. It's gonna be up for my teammate. I'll pop it around him. And if zero goes for the catch here, I could go for a demo. Pop it up for my teammate. Maybe he's still pretty far, so. Good bump though. Good try. Good save. There we go. Mendes is in a bad spot. Minton should try to catch this. Kind of threw it away though, but he's staying pressured. Good try. I'm going to try and bump the opponent here when he tries to go for the chip. Good. And my teammate should have this for free. Jumps up really early though, so this will be a bit awkward. It's a good 50-50. It's not going to be in. I can try to pop this down for my teammate if he's ready for it. Good try. Oh, no. Stay with this off the corner. Kind of popped it up and kind of wasted the possession, but it's an awkward play for them to bring it out. If Mintz gets in the way of this, it could be really good for us. Nice clear. There we go. So I'm going to keep pressure on that ball, but he kind of backed off a little bit. Got away for him to make a touch. He misses. Pop it forward. Not a big fan of that because Zero's going to have a free clear now. 
Good. 50-50. I gotta be a little careful of demos, though. I'm gonna go early for this. He's going for the double. This should be mittens, but he left the net open. This could be an open goal. So, yeah, mittens should definitely be going back for net there. He, he kind of left it open after I get the 50-50. He missed the boost and then tried to go back for it. At that point, the goal is already open. So, pretty rough, though. Off that touch. So, you get decent 50-50. I know that Zero is going to immediately challenge because he's right there. It's right here. I'm going to just wait for them to make a, a touch outwards. Not sure if Mittens wants it or not. Not sure what's happening. Pop off the backboard. Both players committed. Now we can get a corner boost, maybe. Not a great touch from Mittens, though. Kind of passes the ball back. Gonna let them pop it away. It's gonna be a clear way to the opponent though. Mittens should hopefully stay on this. Good. Pop it behind zero. It's gonna be awkward. Good touch though. There we go. Good touch. Wait for uh, Mendes. Pop up the backboard. Should be a shot. Good try. I got 12 boost here. Be a pre-jump, hopefully. Mittens, ah, uh, nice try though. Bit of an awkward game, not gonna lie. Uh, Mittens wasn't really like playing great defense at the end of the game there with that last goal, so we ended up losing that game. But overall, I think like as a first game, it wasn't too bad. We ended up divisioning down to division two, so not the greatest game, but hey, we'll move on. All right, we got a uh, credible on my team against Monster four four two and Francis. Pretty solid squad here. Get fifty fifty. Shoot my ball here. So go for the fake 50, uh, fake flip reset. Credible's gonna be staying with this. Good pop. Oh, panicking. Oh, I popped it up at least. Hopefully my team can get back. Might not be able to get back in time. Great finish. Probably could have just waited for there. That was definitely on me. Uh, it's a bit of an awkward play. I thought that he was gonna let go of it, but he ended up following with the air dribble. And Credible used all of his boost for that play, so there's no way he's gonna get back. Definitely could have just waited though. Teammates going for this. A little bit dangerous. 50-50. Should be credible. Would have liked him to probably actually just hit that across right away. Stay with this, maybe. Good flip reset, but it puts me in a 1v2. Good flick. Try to go for it immediately. Teammate should be going back for defense. Is he not going to make it? Ooh. Nice try. He, I don't know what happened. He said he needs boost, but he needs to make a touch there. Yeah, he tried to read it. but I think he, the, off the backboard, it was, it was definitely a readable backward play. He put me in a weird position because of that flip reset. I had to go for like some sort of challenge. I could have stalled, but at the same time, I'm in a 1v2, so I don't know. Just weird to be in those situations. Okay, he's not leaving it for me. He's going to throw the ball away instead. Could have made a better shot. Had a better position. I'll bump him if I can. Teammate's pretty far away again. That's okay. Don't know how he didn't die. I meant to demo him. Wait for Monster to flick this out. Both players commit. He's probably going to stay with this. Force 50 50. He's going to flick down the field. Should be my teammate to clean this up. If he beats him up. If he beats him here, it could be an open goal. He ends up going for the touch instead. Uh, oh, it could be a shot. Teammate should be okay, though. As long as he gets the boost. He left the boost for the opponent, so they get a free touch. And my teammate missed that mid boost as well, so he's going to be low, and they're going to probably follow this with the 50 50. Go. Oh, awkward play. Not great. Hopefully my teammate can beat him. We flick towards net at least. Server probably went closer with the demo. Once again, incredible going super early, and now I gotta like go back for a 1v2 here. He left the backboard open close. See my teammate is not in position again. Oh boy. He was putting him to cover the uh the clears. Good 50-50. Should be a shot cross at least. I'm gonna force him into the clear across the corner. Bump them both. Should be an open net. And there we go. Nice. I <laughs> just had to zone them out. It's a pretty weird set of games so far. I, def I definitely think the first game was definitely winnable. I'm not sure what happened, but this one, we're still down a goal. So we gotta get another one here. And uh, we could have made a play there if he just, ha you know, realized that he has way more possession, way more space. Same here, just throwing the ball out to the opponents in a position where it's super dangerous for us if he goes right away. There we go. Bump both of them. Hopefully my teammate's close enough. He almost wasn't even close enough, so 
I definitely need to like start to do a little more solo plays and just hopefully have my teammate get close. So I went for the delayed flick there to, to sort of bait in somebody, but it almost didn't work out. I definitely need to be ready for my teammate to be pretty far away. Uh, or going for those solo plays in a situation where you overcommit. So you gotta be really careful when you choose your solo plays to uh, make a play that still uh, gives yourself some time to uh, recover. There we go. <laughs> I just uh, had faith that um, the guy was missing. He was in a really panicky situation and he ends up just clearing it to the backboard. And then Monster's trying to read the shot and it just kind of thread the needle between the two. But weird game so far. It is quite late. It's almost 3 a.m. Look at them go, man. <laughs> they keep going. Should we clear across? Monster might not make it back. It's pretty dangerous. See a pop up for my teammate. Goes for the double. Good try. I don't know what's happening. Should be uh, overtime though. Oh, we actually won. I I'm so confused. I thought it was overtime. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, my brain's just not there right now. But we end up getting the win after that messy start. And uh, that little that, that first mistake was definitely on me, obviously. But definitely a weird game overall. We end up divisioning back up to Division 3, which is good. Uh, and hopefully in the next game or so, we can push into Division 4. Oh, we got we got Francis and Monster again. We got Smurf on our team. Nice. Let's go. So a second game against these guys. Be all right. Stay with this if I can. Get a decent 50 50 and I can fall with the boost. Smurf should be able to stay with this. Nice close. I think Francis is gonna try and touch this over me. Oh, he did. That was good. But it's all right. Smurf is back because he's in the right position to be able to catch it. He notices that I'm caught out. Smart. And a nice finish. There we go. That was a really, really good play. So because Francis clears the ball so hard over me, it just goes right to my teammate and he can make a play back down the field. And Francis is going to be overcommitted as well. So it ends up working out for us even better. Sometimes like being in a position like right here, I don't really want to touch the ball out. This is going to go back to Monster. See if Smurf can pass it middle maybe. Good try. I knew that was going to be maybe a possibility. Pop it around the one player. I get demoed for my my uh, my action there, but it's all good. Pop around the two. Nice finish. Give me a clear for monster. I should not have done that. Give me a free goal. Oh, it was close. Open him a little bit. Should be all right though. <laughs> not sure if my teammate wants this from me. Or okay, yeah. I'll just take it. Give me a smurf. Oh, this could be awkward. He got caught out. It's a great shot. He wasn't quite ready for the uh, the clear down the field, so it ended up being, uh, I think it was Francis. That, oh, no, it was Dead Monster. Or, no, no, it was. It was not Dead Monster. It was Francis who made the shot. Good shot, though. Should be hard enough for him that he can't really reach it. He was being really patient on the backboard, so I just went for it instead. I'm getting really caught in a weird spot in these games because, like, it is SSL level, um, or at least close to it. But... Like, I'm expecting people to be where they where they might not be, you know what I mean? So I'm, like, finding it really difficult to, uh, to predict. And I need to stop predicting. I talked about this in the last episode, that I still need to, like, react to what's happening. Stay with this on the flip reset. Up around the one. Should be a free shot for my teammate. At least a decent 50-50. Can I shoot this or go for a flick? I'm going to wait for the flick. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I couldn't get it. I knew that was going to come out, possibly. I couldn't really challenge because my teammate wasn't back, and I should have just went further back and shadowed instead of trying to predict that. Because it was going to be a... Once he saw me turn, that's when he went for the flick immediately. If I just, like, faced the net, he probably wouldn't have shot immediately like that. Uh, it's really hard to say. Monster, I've, I've played him in 1v1, and he's a pretty solid 1v1 player, so I expect that to happen quite a bit. If Francis wasn't ready, he's going to go for 50-50 now. Make sure I catch this to keep it close on the wall. Go for 50 50. Teammate should be able to get a free ball now. Oh, never mind. He's backwards. Okay, so I tried to hold that 50 50 to get a, give a ball nice and close to him. Um, right here, I probably could have kept in front of it a little more, but my teammate went straight to net and then ended up doing like a weird reverse 360. I thought he was going to turn in into the field instead. So I guess on me, I, I guess I could have uh, 50 that a little better or brought it across at least. Either way, to be a solid play for my teammate. Good pop around. It should be a free open goal here. Nice, nice finish. There we go. Good bumps. I need the other player to clear it though. They might have an immediate shot. Get a little bit careful. Ooh, they missed. Good. Go for a double here. 
It might be in. Nice. Yeah, so I went for the double because in that situation, it's too close to the wall for me to... Uh, for me to go for a shot, especially when both are trying to block the net. So it makes it actually forces Monster to come back towards me. And then because uh, Francis is sitting uh, close to the front post, I know that I can shoot that left side and it should be like more, more than likely open. If he goes for this, it's not too bad. It should be open as well. So Francis tried to like cut me off. I'm seeing this a lot in this rank around like low 1800. They go for these early blocks ahead of the ball instead of just like rotating the net. And unless you get a perfect touch, more than likely you're going to cause a lot of issues like that where you get a free opening. Um, you should definitely just go back and, you know, accept the fact that your your opponents have possession and make a better play from there. I'll go for the immediate block. Immediate, Francis might shoot this down target. He actually should, probably should have went on target instead of towards his teammate. I'll stay with this with the flip. That way I can stay close and get a 50. He hits me backwards. It's all right. Stay in front of this. Bump him. Teammate's pretty far though. Nice, good play. Francis pops out the backwards. Smurf should be able to get a, a free shot there, and there we go. So we're getting some points back here. It should be the end of this game, and uh, hopefully the last game of this episode we should get Division Four. All right, for the last game we got LS and Choi or Chewy. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. That's really bad. <laughs> I got Royal on my team. Good 50-50. Should be open net here as well. And a good finish to start it off. Pop this out for my teammate. It should be an opening. And there we go. Nice play. So all I did there was just bring out the wall. I tried to chip it around because I knew if I tried to go for the flick right here, it wouldn't have worked. So instead, I brought out the wall. And then uh, Choi or Chewy, uh, he went for a, a block. And I ended up passing it out to my teammate instead. Using the fact that my teammates are ready, readily available and LS was not nowhere to be found on the, uh, the middle area there. Good pop. Should be Royal again if he follows us up. I'm going to fake this. That way I can return a little bit faster. See how like, I stay with the recoveries instead of just barreling into the challenge. It's definitely a smart idea to go for the uh, you know, the touch in a way that your car will re readjust into a faster recovery. Those are going to be a, like quintessential in, in, in being like an S a good SSL player. Good first touch. Oh, actually, not a great first touch because he kind of let go of the ball. But then the opponents gave up possession. So a lot of messy like back and forth possession. Give me a good chip. Wait for the touch here. Okay, that's not great <laughs> for my teammate uh, who just popped it in midfield for the opponents. Um, so it could have challenged there as well, but he decided not to. So I backed off at the last second, noticing that he wasn't ready for it. I'm going to take this boost. It's a little bit dangerous because the other guy could take a shot. He's not quite ready for it. So I'm going to pop it over them uh, when they go to the backboard. Wait for a choice touch as well. And there we go. There's a free goal. Um, they're just panicking. Choi might go for an immediate flick here. I gotta be a little careful. There it is. Keep this close. Not the greatest touch. I kind of gave him a free ball, but good positioning for my teammate. I can't get to this. I already know that. He's gonna follow us up the wall too and make an immediate touch, which is actually really good for us. Because uh, it makes it means that he's gonna give away the possession. So that's a decent touch. Oh, I didn't expect that guy to miss. I'm gonna pop this around him. Hopefully my teammate can take this. Good touch. Pop around the one. Make him panic. Good first touch from the opponent. I don't want to move too far away because I want to be make sure I stay close. I don't know what's going on with that touch though for my teammate, but it's all good. Should I go around him? Might not be on target though. I tried. Nice finish. There we go. <laughs> We're all got it though. So that was a good uh, a good choice, I guess. I could have put it on target more, but I was very, very low boost and it could have been in. But I ended up leaving the game super, super early. But that's going to be it for game or, or episode number 47, I believe. Um, bit of a weird start to the, seri uh, to the series of uh, games here, but ended up making it work. We didn't get Division three, uh, Division 4 yet. So actually, no, no, we'll wait till next episode. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. It was a lot of fun. Um, definitely different to play it at this time of night. Um, I'm hoping that my controller comes in by tomorrow. Uh, by the time this video comes out, it, it'll be like, you know, a couple days later. But uh, hopefully my controller finally comes in and I can stop using like a different dead zone and, and actually start to get a little more consistent. But until next time, hope you guys have a great day and we'll catch you guys in the next one.